What if I told you you can get your graphics card temperatures from looking like this to this with very little effort on your end? It's very easy to do with this software called MSI Afterburner, so you'll need to install that if you don't have it already. And before you click off, I think MSI Afterburner is an essential application for any gaming PC because you can just do so much with it in terms of tuning your graphics card. It's a definite recommendation of mine. While installing MSI Afterburner, you will be prompted to install RTSS alongside this. This isn't a requirement for today, but I highly recommend it as it's good for monitoring your PC. As you can find out in a video up there, which also has the installation process for MSI Afterburner. So if you're struggling, I recommend that video. So after that short sort of like five minute install process, all you need to do is go to your settings in MSI Afterburner, go to fan and enable user defined software automatic fan control. Click apply and that's the fix. It is that easy to get your GPU temperatures under control compared to the stock fan curve. It's, well, as you can see, it's just incredibly easy. And if you're curious, the GPU I'm using for testing today is the RTX 3080 Founders Edition. But regardless of which GPU you've got, whether it's Nvidia, AMD or Intel, this can be applied to any of those graphics cards. It's not particular to Nvidia or my 3080. Before enabling the one click fix, so to speak, I ran a baseline test in God of War's main menu as it seems to hit graphics cards pretty hard. Enabling our one click fix does very much in the way of not a lot of effort because it goes down to 73 degrees C, which is 10 degrees from thermal throttling compared to the two before, so that's quite good there. The hotspot is also looking pretty good at 89 degrees C, which is well within spec, no problems there either. And the memory temperatures have gone down to around 82, which is very good for Micron GDDR6X on the Founders Edition. By the way, if you like these tips and tricks videos, consider subscribing. We're trying to get to around 10K by the end of the year, so that'd be a big help if you'd do that. You might be thinking these temperatures aren't really the biggest reduction in the world, but you've got to ask yourself this. Are you comfortable with being so close to thermal throttling that you'd have slightly lower fan speeds? Odd wager, most of you aren't. But the fact that this trick or fix, I wouldn't really say it's a fix, but the fact that this one really easy tick box just reduces GPU temperatures by this much is quite big if you ask me. There are some downsides to this however and the main one is you will lose your idle fan stop on your graphics card as most GPUs will turn off the fans when they're below sort of like 50 degrees so when you're in the desktop or you're doing very light work maybe like watching a YouTube video or something like that most GPUs these days won't spin the fans as they're just not really required. This overrides that so they'll be spinning while your GPUs are idle. This isn't really a big deal for me but it might be a big deal for you so that's something to look out for and enabling this setting also overrides the fan curve from the factory but in all fairness i think fan curves for most graphics cards are very conservative i would like to say as they're aiming for more acoustic performance compared to cooling performance and that isn't the right methodology or the the ethos which i agree with so there is that but at the end of the day it's a fan curve and it can be adjusted so yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how in a sec. Hold your horses, we're not quite done yet. As I said at the start of the video, MSI Afterburner is an incredibly powerful piece of software when it comes to GPU tweaking. And I'm gonna show you one of the coolest features in this application. If you press Ctrl and F, this will bring up the voltage and frequency curve editor. And here, this is where you can undervolt your graphics card. And undervolting is a seriously cool sort of technique to make sure that your GPU uses less power. This will affect different GPUs, well, differently. And this isn't a tutorial. You can watch in a video up there that I made. It's quite an old one now. So if you want to see a new one, let me know in the comments down below. Anyways, I like to apply a minus 100 millivolt at around, usually at around 860 megahertz. That's, that tends to do quite well on this graphics card. And then all you do is press the tick right there. And there you go, that's your GPU undervolted. Also in MSI Afterburner, you can use the save and then save it to a different profile and you can enable it. So this profile is applied on Windows Startup. So you don't need to go digging into the software to enable it. 
in all fairness, you won't be breaking your GPU, you won't fry it or anything with undervolting because you're applying less voltage. Yes, you might see some stability problems, but all I'd like to do here is just give it a bit more voltage or lower the clock speed ever so slightly and you'll be good to go. It's a fairly non-destructive application, like even with overclocking, all you'll get is like a crash and windows will restart so there's no problems with msi afterburner also another tip with this i like to adjust the fan curve ever so slightly so if you go back into the fan curve you can make it slightly more aggressive so that's what i'm going to do here so i've made it so the fan curve is slightly more aggressive and it will ramp up quite a bit more but to be honest with my rtx 3080 we didn't really see that much of a difference here the core only went down by four degrees c but in all fairness it did get down into the 60s from the 70s so that's a slight win there the hotspot only went down by three degrees and the memory only went down by two so it's not a make or break feature as the the one click fix i like to say makes the biggest difference compared to stock so if you didn't want to do any of the undervolting stuff i really don't blame you as the one click fix is definitely the sweet spot here for the amount of time you invest into improving your gpu's thermals and this is the weird thing with undervolting if your gpu is thermally efficient like the rtx 3080 you're not really going to see that much of a difference here but if you're running something like an old vega graphics card from amd you'll definitely see a much bigger difference in temperatures and definitely power consumption as well as these are not very tuned that well out of the factory so your mileage may vary depending on the GP that you're using. But us PC gamers are definitely at our happiest when our GP is running cool and it's running games well. So I hope you enjoy your cooled GPU as yeah, the, the out of the box fan curves are absolutely atrocious on most graphics cards. But if you wanna see how I fix my CPU's cooling, you can watch that in a video up there. With that being said, I'll catch you in the next one.